Factoring is a skill we use with quadratics and other higher polynomials, such as x cubes, x to the fourth, so on. And the primary reason we know the factoring skill is that it will help us solve these equations. So if I say, uh, have x squared plus 7x plus 12, the idea of factoring is we're trying to break it up into two factors. So our answer is going to look something like this this if, again as a factor factors are two things that are multiplied together and really this is the undoing or the inverse operation of foiling first outside inside last that we know since uh to how to multiply two binomials together so the idea of factoring is we're trying to find two numbers that will multiply to this value that add to this value so again, if I kind of fill in my work out here, what two numbers multiply to 12 that add to 7? In this case, 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So for this problem, this factors into x plus 3 times x plus 4. The nice thing is if you're not sure, guess what? Foil your answer to see if it ends up with, with this. Here's another pretty straightforward one. What are two numbers that multiply to 1 that add to 2? Well, let's see. The only way to make 1 is 1 times 1. And sure enough, 1 plus 1 is 2. So then this factors into x plus 1 times x plus 1. Again, so whatever numbers go here, it's going to be x plus or minus those values if it's negative. Um, but just know that, hey, for convenience, as we're multiplying two things that are the same thing together, we can just write that as squared. So these first two were easy because the leading coefficient, again, the, the coefficient with the highest degree, so the, the coefficient with the x squared is 1. What happens if you don't have that? Well, it just becomes a little bit more um, algebraic or computation thinking of multiplication and division. So again, our answer is going to be a product of two factors, like so. But now, think of foiling. When we do FOIL, the first, so when I take this times this, that's going to produce 8x squared. So it's going to be something with x in both of them. But what are the possible factors of 8? 1 and 8, or 2 and 4? And so from here, it is a bit of guessing checking. Hopefully in your algebra classes you've had through the years, you've done hundreds of factoring problems. So I'm going to guess 2 and 4. And then I'm trying to find, think of FOIL, remember? So here was the F, O, I, and now I want to think about the L for a second. When I do L, that's going to multiply these two together to create this term right here. Now, what's nice about 3, 3 is prime. So the only factors of 3 are 3 and 1. But notice 1. So I'm either going to have negative 3, or excuse me, negative 1 and 3, or 1 and negative 3. Now, yep, it becomes a bit of guessing and checking. So I know 1 and 3 go one of these places, but I don't know where. So now the O and the I part of FOIL come into play. So O is when I multiply this and this i is when I multiply the inside, and we know that those need to sum to 10x. So let's see. I have, hmm, I got to use 3 and 1 somehow. Well, let's try 1 and 3. Now, I, I got to put a sign in here. So I'm going to get the 8x squared from the f, but if I do 2x times 1, that is 2x. 3 times 4x is 12. Let's see, so I have a 2x and a 12x going on. Hmm, and I'm trying to make positive 10x? Well, man, if negative 2x, or I should say if 2 was negative 2x, we'd have that done. So I'm going to put this 1 to be negative and this 3 to be positive. So now let's check this out. I'm going to FOIL. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. So the f is done. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. 3 times 4x is 12x. So negative 2x plus 12x are like terms. They make 10x. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So sure enough, that works. Uh, a difference of squares. This is a common one. So difference, of course, means subtraction. Squares means each term is something squared. Hopefully you see that. Yep, the x is just x squared. 
and then 4 squared is 16. In such situations, when you realize this is a difference of squares, this will factor into x plus 4 and then x minus 4. Or in other words, if this is a and this is b, it will always factor into a plus b times a minus b. And then the very last one, notice, is this a difference of squares? Well, can each term be written as something squared? So, well, 1 squared is 1, so that is. And notice, 2x quantity squared, 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared. So yes, this is a difference of squares. So I can say, think of this as the a, this is the b. So this will factor into 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. So now, if you haven't already tackled all of these uh, factoring problems, do so yourself. I chose these problems for us just because these are all the types of problems you may see um, throughout the, the summer package. So give these a try and good luck.